Hey y'all, Ashley here. Welcome to my channel. Today we are planning inside of my classic catch-all happy planner. I did go ahead before this and I planned out the stickers that I want to use for this week's spread. Now here is the sticker books that I'm using and y'all I'm so excited for these. These are from Stephanie's um, release of Plan a Happy Life and Stephanie's Favorites where she come out with the sticker books and the planner and the journal and stuff. So I have this one which is Happy Goals. And then I also have the Live Creatively one. And I have I have um, some pages marked here for some other stickers, so I have them this way for that reason. But if you're new to this and you're watching this and you're like, what is she talking about? Who is Stephanie? What is Stephanie's favorites? Like, what is going on? This is called a Happy Planner. It's a planner that's on a disc-bound system, which is awesome because you can take anything out and you can put anything in it. Stephanie's favorites, by that I mean... Um, Stephanie was the owner of the Happy Planner and she recently retired. So, um, and she also wrote a book and that's important because she released the book and her favorite stuff. So she's got Plan a Happy Life book that's um, releasing next week. Actually, it'll be this week once you guys watch this video. So she's got that releasing and she also has what's called Stephanie's Favorites releasing. So this is sticker books. It's a Happy Planner journal, a Happy Planner planner, um, a, well, let me, let me just show you. This is a little, little off script here real quick, but there's this gorgeous little planner keychain that's got the happy planner disc there. Super duper cute. It comes with these two sticker books. It's got some pocket folders, which are awesome. If you're new and you're like, what the heck's a pocket folder? You can just, you can stick anything you want inside of there. It can be money or receipts, whatever. And this will pop into your planner because it's already punched for the discs. There's a gorgeous little pencil pouch, which I love. There's the journal, which I've already started using. <laughs> this thing is so stinking cute. I'm not going to flip through all this stuff in depth because um, there's tons of flip throughs of this stuff already out there. And I'm, that's not what this video is for. But in case you're new and you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, I'm just going to show you really quickly. This is the planner that comes with it. It's um, a super duper neutral planner other than like the dividers and that kind of thing are colorful, but everything else inside of here is really neutral, which I love. And then it also comes with, let me move this stuff. It comes with 60 sheets of insert paper that says happy list. And then you can just make like a master list, a checklist, things to do, whatever. And these are already pre-printed as well. So they'll go right into your planner. So that's what I'm talking about by Stephanie's favorites and all of that stuff. Now, if you're watching this too, and you're new and you're like, why in new world is she using all of these stickers? <laughs> well, my friend, it's a thing. I promise. <laughs> it's a whole thing. I didn't know it was a thing either. And if you told me that at 28 years old, I'd be creating videos on YouTube about how to put planner stickers in your planner. Um, I probably would have thought you were crazy, but <laughs> here we are. Okay, so this is my catch-all planner. Literally anything and everything can go inside of this planner. This is stuff for me personally, for my son, my husband, our schedules. This can be a doctor's appointments, maybe car repairs, um, cleaning schedules, just anything and everything goes inside of here. And like I said, I already planned out my sticker, so we are just going to dive into this. I did not pre-plan this week, which normally I always do. So there's not really, I kind of have a rhyme or reason for where I'm putting stickers at, but um, not so much. I'll explain that as we go. So I absolutely love this Think Happy sticker. And you guys, I've had a rough few weeks, like a really rough few weeks. <laughs> and I'm needing all of these gorgeous positivity stickers. That's for certain. So I'm going to take white out and I'm going to cover up this. And then I kind of like how this overlaps into Monday. That is cute. Um, I think on Tuesday, I'm kind of just going off the top of my head. I think on Tuesday, I want to clean the house, my office. Whoops, sorry about that. I got a phone call right in the middle of me saying that. Um, I found this cute little sticker. It says, the enemy of a focus mind is clutter and chaos. Yes, like I... I believe that a lot <laughs> um, because when there's clutter and stuff, it's hard to focus. And Tuesday, I think I want to clean the house. 
especially organizing my office. And I love to clean and I've been stressed and cleaning is just a way for me to de-stress. So we will stick those two there together and kind of layer them. Now I did pull, I pulled um, these little checklists and these stickers here because every day I wanna have a checklist. So first though, I think I'm gonna do this. This is happy list. Whoops. And I just want to create like a general to-do list over here on the side. This will be for things that are not day specific. So like if I have a checklist here, it'll be for things that are for Wednesday. But maybe I have some stuff over here that I want to do and it doesn't matter what, what day it happens on. Let's put... This one here, it says gratitude changes everything. And I love that one. And I got another one of these blue stickers and I'm gonna put like three things that I'm grateful for. And we'll do that up here. There we go. Now I grabbed these little flags and they have, is that going to focus? They have cute little glasses on them and I thought these would be great. I um, recently signed up for something called Skillshare. This is not an ad for it, but I signed up for something called Skillshare because it teaches you a ton of different things and there's some things on there that I want to learn and I'm going to take some time this week to work on Skillshare stuff. Watch the videos, learn the content. I know I want to do a little bit of that on Monday. Let's do an orange one down here for a checklist. This is making progress and we'll grab one of the orange ones to go with it. That's going to overlap it. Now let's do this. Whoops. There we go. And then Tuesday we'll do a pink one. Let me get the pink checklist first and we'll put it down. Maybe. <laughs> Please go on straight. I like my stickers to be straight. They don't have to be, but I like it. Straight enough. And then we'll put this over it. That's not straight. We're going to leave it. I'm going to force myself to leave it. Got to let go of the perfection. Okay. Um, we're going to do a green one over here. Let me grab a green checklist. Oh, there's like a hair stuck to the sticker. There we go. And then I think I'm going to do, I got this one, which needs to go on Thursday and one on Monday. So we will put Thursdays down here. These are little appointment stickers and I am a health and fitness coach. And on Mondays and Thursdays, I have our team calls. Let's move this. Maybe I won't do that on Monday. I have some, I have to run to the bank and I do have a couple other things to do Monday. So, um, 
maybe the Skillshare thing needs to go on a different day. That way I'm not trying to do too much on one day. So let's do this one. Let's actually swap out colors. Let's grab a yellow and we'll do it on Wednesday. There we go. Oh, that looks so cute. It's so bright, so fun, positive. Got gratitude, I love it. So since there's green here, and I had to use two green ones, so we're gonna put the other one like over here somewhere. That way the green's not too close together and it kind of brings balance to the page. Let's do, there's blue here, so I think I'll do the blue one down here. Let's do yellow and then orange. We'll do the yellow one up here. I tell myself things don't have to be perfect and then I sit here and I try to make everything line up perfectly. <laughs> oh, that's all right. And then the orange one. This one's a little bit of a different color. It's like reddish, but that's fine. That's okay. Let's do this purple one up here for Saturday. These will be cute little labels too for like reading. And then we'll do one here on Thursday. Now I got a couple of these box stickers and by that I mean these are like this will cover up the whole entire thing but I'm not going to use them. Um, I don't think I need to. I do need something here though and I got these ones which I thought are super duper cute but I want one on both sides and that way it kind of balances things out but there's nowhere over here to put one and I don't want it to get too too cluttered so I'm not going to use those ones either. And I grabbed these ones because I thought these were super cute and I was going to use them initially and I decided not to. I just forgot to put them back in there. But the stickers that I marked off on here are these super duper cute discs. And I'm going to use these as kind of like a decorative element down the center. So we'll do like a pink one here. One up top. There's enough, because 
I don't want to use the other two pink ones because there's already pink. But I think there's enough. Probably not. I'm probably wrong about that. I was thinking that maybe there was enough for me to get the whole thing filled in with different colors and it not have them matching side by side, if that makes sense. So like having a green one here and a green one there. But we can use the pink because the pink will not line up with the other pink ones. So that works out. These, this nifty little tool, um, is tweezers that you pluck your eyebrows with. <laughs> There's like super fancy ones you can buy at the craft store, but I had an extra set of tweezers. So, oh, that turned out so cute. I really like it. Um, maybe I should add some, I think there's more in here. There is. Let's add some like around the edges. Let's do like pink, a blue and an orange. Do the orange in the center. Pink one here. These stickers kind of remind me of the um, Planner Babe stickers, little discs. And then let's do a yellow. green and a red one up here. Kind of around August. Just trim the excess. I like it. It looks really cute. I'm kind of thinking maybe, so I need something here, like a quote or something. What could I put there? Hmm. Okay. We're going to take a pause for a second. I'm going to flip through the sticker books. I'll come back and I'll show you guys what I choose. Oh my gosh, you guys, apparently I did not hit the record button when I finished the spread yesterday. So it's actually the next day now. Um, and I was starting to edit the video and I realized I didn't film that part. So this is what I did. I took a Live Creatively sticker. It come from the same sticker book, but it um, was all one sticker. And then I just cut it in half and I put Live and then Creatively there, as you can see. And so that kind of filled in that little gap a little bit. And I did um, go ahead and start filling this in. Again, I didn't realize I didn't record it. <laughs> But this is my finished spread. I think it turned out so stinking cute. I love it. I love those stickers. They're absolutely gorgeous. I am loving the positivity, the live creatively, having the gratitude there, a happy list over here, and then the daily checklist for everything. So that turned out really cool. Um, this actually worked out fantastically, the little sticker with the glasses here for Wednesday, because Stephanie is having a fireside chat with Michaels about her new book, The Plan a Happy Life book. And that's actually when I got signed up for Wednesday at 6 p.m. So I will be on that. And that little sticker worked out fantastic for that. So that is my spread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Come hang out with me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video.